Welcome back to San Diego People. This morning we are talking with Representatives Brian Bilbray and Bob Filner about some of the major issues in Washington. And, of course, the big issue for both of you gentlemen would be the midterm elections coming up. Let's talk about that for just a minute. They're coming up. Coming yeah. up. Oh, I Bobby, forgot about that. We are that. just about there. <laughs> and, of course, uh, you know, everywhere you read, you we're hearing Democrats are in trouble because of, because of the president's policies and the economy, the pocketbook issues. The Senate, what, 36 seats up for grabs. The House, all the seats up for grabs. Uh, one at a time, your take. How's well, that's it, a story. How, how's it going to shake out? That's what, just a story going, we put out to make happen? them uh, how many seats, lower their guard. How many seats will the Democrats <laughs> lose because of President Well, it's traditional President that Obama. The, the party in power on a midterm election loses some seats. Uh, and I think we will lose some seats. I do not think we will lose the majority in either the Senate or the House. I don't think people want to go back to the policies that put us into this mess economically and uh, foreign policy-wise. So uh, I think there will be a loss. People get impatient. The, the unemployment uh, rate has been up too high too long and has not gone down significantly fast enough. Uh, so we'll lose some seats, but I'm not sure people want to go back to the Bush years. Mm -hmm. Alan, I hate, I hate to use the surfing analogy, but the tide goes in, the tide goes out. And especially with independents, which are really the exciting part about politics now, pe independent voters. I think uh, you just got to understand, um, you know, the, the tidal wave coming was shown by the super low tide where Republicans were despairing. The fact is, when it comes in, people are looking at how many seats got to remember what happened in 94. And it's not just the height of a wave when a tidal wave comes, it's the velocity. And we will not know until election night how far up that beach and how many incumbents are defeated. And frankly, this is one thing that you'll see why there's so many Democrats, especially moderate Democrats, who have just resigned because they went back to the district, listened to the constituents and realized, hey, these people are really upset and they are really going to um, take a pound of flesh come election night. Title, Actually, there are more Republicans who have retired than Democrats, so he's not right if there. If this but. tidal wave happens, what kind of message is this going to send to the White House? What, what, what will happen? What will change from the standpoint of the well, president's policies and the way he handles the economy? I think it depends on the, uh, you know, the strength of this wave. I, I mean, again, I, th I think uh, Brian has overstated it. I think the Democrats will still be in a majority. Uh, but like Clinton after 94, right. uh, a, a Democrat, if is faced with a more Republican uh, legislative branch, has to moderate. Uh, although, again, on the issues, the, the big issues that we just talked about, the economy, the, a war, uh, we ought to be more together. I mean, we've got to find a way that both parties can work together on this <laughs> stuff because it's too important. And what the voters see, you know, is bickering. Mm -hmm. Uh, we ought to be finding a way to work together, and I think if, if the, the Republicans do very well in the election, there'll be more of an incentive for the, re for the president and the Congress to try to work better together. Mm -hmm. What the election is going to do is force the, the party that has been in control so large that they didn't even have to allow the other side in the room to have to now sit down and realize we can't pass anything. That was the Republicans in 1994, yeah, well, by the way. Well, the, uh... not, this is the largest majority <laughs> we've seen in our time, and the fact is is that this majority is so huge that it's made, made basically the Democrats lazy about it. We don't even have to have the Republicans in the room. Now you're going to see them be forced to have to sit down and say a bipartisan effort is the only way you get anything passed, and I think that's going to be very healthy of the system. The president is going to have a real challenge adapting to this. I think Bill Clinton adapted to it easy coming out of Arkansas, where he was used to very, very moderate politics. I think President Obama coming out of Chicago is going to have a real problem adapting his, his instinctive Chicago politics to adapting it to this kind of bipartisan give and take. He's used to the Chicago take and hit hard and basically don't worry about the minority. That's He's going to have to adapt and learn what Bill Clinton did. You know, there's already talk that because uh, President Obama's uh, poll numbers are sagging, there's already talk that two years down the road, and this is Demo these are Democrats talking about this, that he may consider asking Hillary Clinton to run as his VP, moving Joe Biden as Secretary of State, keeping a smile on his face all this time, in order to win that election then. Have you heard that talk Yeah, but in we're Washington? going way ahead of ourselves. But, I mean, but I mean, the Democrats are talking about this on all of the talk I'm not, shows right now. So there's, there there's, 90, look, there's 90 days between now and, uh, and, and the November election. A lot can happen there. A lot can happen. Uh, we've seen elections turn on things that have occurred in the last month or two. So uh, I, I think we're going too far ahead to look at uh, 2012. Uh, what the Democrats want to do is show that we have made progress on all the issues. 
we have stopped the bleeding, you know, of the economy and stopped uh, some of the other bad stuff that was going on and are moving forward. And we're going to say to the American people, do you really want to go back can to the Bush? Can they do it in two years? Can they do it in two years? Well, that's what we're going to see. I hope we can. I think Hillary will not get cl that close to the president. <laughs> I think Hillary is uh, underst understanding history. There's only one vice president that we can remember, and that was, you know, George I that was able to make that move. I think Hillary would rather be in the administration but far enough away that in case there's failure, in case the system crashes, she can then step forward as being the alternative to the disaster that had happened. And I, I think she will want to participate in the administration but not be standing side by side with, with the president when the shooting starts. All right, gentlemen, we are just about Who's out of time. Who's going to start the shooting here, man? <laughs> we are, we'll, we'll leave it on that. We are out of time, and it's been a lively discussion, and I appreciate both of you joining me today. Thank, Thank you. you so very much. And that's it for this edition of San Diego People. Be sure and join us for the KUSI News at 6, 10, and 11. Have a great day.